Hey Capricorns, it's Diane with 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for the end of February going into March. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what messages are here for you. How many cards here for Capricorn Spirit? What message do you have for Capricorn this week? Okay, Capricorn, I just want to remind you guys that I do not offer personal readings. If someone, mm, whoo, what are y'all doing? <laughs> We're going to get into that card in just a minute. I just want to remind you guys that I do not offer personal readings. If someone is trying to offer you a personal reading on any one of the social media sites that I have, Facebook, Instagram, no, that is not me. Ignore them or do not give them any of your information or try to purchase anything from them, okay? I don't offer personal readings quite yet. Um, and when I do, if I do, um, again, I will let you guys know myself. And there will be a secure website for you guys to go on to uh, if I do offer any services, okay, in the future. So you'll hear it from me face-to-face, -face, all right? But right now, at this moment, there is no services being offered, no personal readings, no spells, no candles, anything of that sort going on quite yet, okay? All right, Capricorn. I also want to let you guys know that this is a general reading. All of the messages may not resonate with you. If this message does not resonate with you here, Make sure you guys check out your other sun sign readings. I have a few of them listed at the end of this video. Or you can check out the description box. I have February and March playlists in the, the uh, description box for you guys to view your other sun sign readings. Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, or Mars. Whatever your placements are, okay? Let's get your overall energy out here. How much do you have here for Capricorn? Oh, my goodness. Someone is trying to test you, my love. They're not going to be happy. <laughs> but you are. You have the four of wands that's coming out here, okay? Look at you. You're not going for it here, Capricorn. I see you. All right? Look at that. Uh-huh. Ooh. Is this some relationship, some connection? It could be business. It could be love for you guys here, okay? This lover's card doesn't always mean just love. I just want to make you guys aware of that if you're not familiar with tarot. The lover's card is not all about a love affair. It could be business, okay? it's In general, it just means a partnership. But it could be a challenging one. For some of you, or it could be a good one, depending on the cards surrounding it. But we'll get into this in a minute. Let's look at your your additional messages here. Okay. Some of you guys are dealing with Virgo. Just letting you know. Wants to come out. But you guys have healing heart. This is where you are. Okay. Your card says basically everything is meaningless until you put a label on that shit. Reading over. Okay. Just kidding. Um, until you put a label on a situation, only you decide what exactly is written on it. And you are, you're not playing about that. I definitely feel that energy. A lot of you guys are healing childhood wounds. You're healing a lot of wounds. Um, you're healing your heart chakra here. And uh, this card is definitely letting me know that uh, you're still loving, you're still giving here, Capricorn, but you're also being responsible when it comes to your heart and you're not going to let someone play over your heart or play with your heart. That's something else that I'm feeling for you guys, okay? You guys have the Queen of Pentacles uh, showing up, Sagittarius or Capricorn energy here. If you have that in your chart, you have the almond tree here, earth energy, logical and practical advice from a woman or money matters coming into your life here. OK, so um, this may be you guys giving advice to someone else here. OK, this person, though, may have feelings for you. There's something underneath that I'm feeling like you may give advice or practical advice to someone here. 
uh, but they have other intentions uh, for you here, Capricorn. Like this person uh, has emotional feelings for you, this uh, Sagittarius or this uh, Capricorn. Okay, it could be another Capricorn or it could be a Sagittarius. But I definitely feel like this is like your energy because you are very logical. You are very detail-oriented. You are authoritative as well, especially with the cards that I'm seeing here. But someone... Someone is uh, possibly on your mind as well here, okay? We're going to see who this is or what this is. Let's keep going, though, because <laughs> I want to get into this card. You have destructive rage. Look at her. Look at that candle magic. Is that candle magic? No, that's her holding her phone, and the phone is on fire. Do you see that? That is crazy. An unpleasant message haunts your sleep. So some text message, some email, something coming in that's got you burnt, burning in rage, destructive rage. It says, but the more you cheer on this matter, the more energy you give to it, the more you will burn yourself in the end. So turn away from this energy, turn away from this situation here. Ooh, there's some, some, okay. I'll get into these cards in a minute. I kind of want to jump into it now, but I have to go in order. The Phoenician is coming in, okay? Find your balance and fulfill your karma, fairness, dignity, and integrity. You will receive what you deserve here, the Justice card. This may be from a relationship that you guys have or a relationship that you have. Some of you guys are married to this person. It may be a Libra here for some of you guys with this Justice card that's coming up. Um, and I definitely feel like it may have been a karmic situation that you guys were in. Let's take a look at this right now. What's on your mind here? Cause some of you guys, I, I'm talking to a lot of single people here. I feel, or people that want to be single because your relationship is very challenging. You have the four of wands here. So stability with the number four coming in, it's about stability. This is what you're wanting. And the four of wands is showing up for you guys because you're trying to find, stable ground possibly in a relationship in a connection where all you're focused on here capricorn is uh achieving um success in your life okay crowning accomplishments the phoenician here okay you would you receive what you deserve and you feel like what you deserve is to be happy to be in a stable connection and a stable relationship here you don't have time for the nonsense and i definitely feel like you guys are guarding yourself with the nine of wands here against uh anyone that uh questions you uh that pressures you that tries to overtake you or use you or manipulate you into doing something that you're not comfortable with or accepting something that you feel is unfair here you're willing to stand in your own independence until you get what you deserve here so if that is a divorce uh, that you have you're going after or you are cutting off a boo that you had or a past person you're keeping them at bay you're protecting your own solitude and the, the stability that you have created in your life because you don't have time for nonsense here that's definitely what i feel especially with the heart healing card it says basically everything is meaningless until you put a label on a situation here so this person here is basically meaningless until you put a, a, a label on the relationship that you have with them here okay the, uh, doesn't matter what they feel okay i feel this energy here because you have the queen of swords here in the past i feel like you guys may have cut someone off smooth cut them off here okay judge their actions and their words and and <laughs> their character and you did not like what you saw okay not being judgmental but being very logical and i definitely feel like you may have cut someone off here in the past okay this person though and i'm gonna skip around in your reading i feel like they're still in your mind uh aries leo sagittarius libra energy that i have on the table as well doesn't have to be, but they could have this in their chart. Look at you. You're like looking at them like you're, don't even try it. <laughs> Usually the king of wands is um someone that uh, is, is like a good partner, marriage material here, okay? Um, but I definitely feel like um, some of you guys wish things could have been different with someone here. 
you're trying to go towards something new, I see, but you're also, uh, you got someone heavily on your mind. Let's go ahead and clarify that King of Wands and see what's going on with that energy. Okay, you have dark dog barking advice from a friend. So you may have friends around you trying to support you to give you advice on this person. And they're showing up as the rat, someone working against you and behind your back. Some of you guys may feel like that. That is that person that could be your child's father. If you have kids with this person here, um, you feel like this person is working against you um, or just a lover that you had feelings for that you're no longer with or someone that you're currently with and you don't have kids with them here okay you feel like this person is doing something behind your back that's very sneaky here okay a lot of you and i'm saying this because of the next card here in the future some of you guys feel like you're dealing with the stalemate or the person that you're dealing with who it may be uh, too difficult of a relationship to be with them here maybe they're not very vocal or very open with their feelings here and you're needing to make a choice and i'm saying that as well because you have the lover's card coming in in regards to what you need to focus on here okay so they're saying focus on some relationship focus on how this person makes you feel because it could be a love affair for some of you the way your cards are coming out here okay it definitely could be a romantic relationship that i'm seeing for you my other capricorns it could be um a boss or a job that you are working with uh, working for or working with uh, that you don't feel very valued by that uh, employer here and you're looking towards something new here okay spirit is saying you have options so don't worry uh, a lot of you guys need to go towards something new here okay this is also what you need to focus on the full card a new phase in your life a new opportunity a new path spirit is saying a risk must be taken uh, there's this need to abandon the old and start something new, have a new experience in your life, focus on your personal growth and uh, development, focus on your own creativity and really discovering your own talents. If this is about a job or just leaving the past behind you here because you've already made a decision here about someone Okay, so regardless of what they're trying to do behind your back, if you're not with this person anymore, they really can't touch you because you're already guarding yourself and you're moving through the challenges here with the nine of wands that's crossing you. Okay, so the nine of wands is crossing you because spirit is congratulating you for getting to this point and they're wanting you to continue to fight through the difficulties and not give up that's what i'm feeling here with this nine of wands that's showing up for you guys they're saying not to give up be prepared uh to face the challenges that you need to face but know that this will not last here okay the full card is letting me know that a new phase of your life is about to begin and nobody can stop it not not this person not an employer not a past lover no one can stop what's new uh coming into your life here okay uh, you guys have the two of pentacles here. So I do see you working a lot. You're going through the motions. You're handling the ebb and flow of life and needing to make decisions for yourself here. Let's see this energy coming in here. Things will pan out. Ah, oh. <laughs> things will work out for you, especially in money matters here. Okay. Uh, they're letting me know money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it here. Okay. So some of you guys, this is also about a job here, um, or this is just about a job here. Uh, that you're trying to weigh your options to see if a position is right for you, if a job is right for you, if a company is right for you. Do you want to deal with your boss's BS anymore? Or should you move on? Should you make the, the decision to search for something that is better and obtain a new opportunity here? And Spirit is saying, go for it. <laughs> go for it. A path with money is waiting for you to find it here. Okay, so definitely don't sit idle and let opportunities pass you by because that could possibly possibly happen for you guys here okay even if we're talking about love there's this need for you to leave this past person behind that you've already made a decision on because there's other options that could present itself in love but you're tying yourself up in a situation that you know you don't want to be in and you're missing uh new love or you're uh 
delaying new love for moving into your life, okay? With the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups shows up when there's some missed opportunity here, uh, either with your creative side and obtaining um, new financial opportunities or if you're trying to find new love here. So there's this, uh, this big need for you to release the past. No longer entertain nonsense or toxic people and energy. Um in your life anymore to make a decision to find your balance and fulfill your karma okay they're saying you will receive uh what you deserve here so i feel like it's good karma with the justice card that is coming in towards you here okay so you have the six of pentacles as your last card here, Capricorn, which is a beautiful card, okay? Um, especially in your reading here, sixes are all about growth, all right? So Spirit is letting me know that you guys are on the receiving end when it comes to uh, opportunities in your life here, okay? There's either going to be an increase in your pay or a new job opportunity opening up towards you. Uh, it's going to be an opportunity for you to uh pay off debt or have the resources that you need uh enough to give to others or support others that are near and dear and close to you so there's some career opp opportunities that may, that may present itself to you don't miss out on it okay promotions bonuses financial rewards um just overall growth happening in your life and i definitely feel like you're on the receiving end just like your money path card is saying here a path with money is waiting for you and it definitely is but it's going to require you to leave some things in the past that don't work for you here okay and take this leap of faith and with the full energy that's coming in right let's get your final card out here So Capricorn, this is your stone that's coming in. Take a screenshot. This is Aragonite. And they're saying, find your center. So they want you to focus on balance here. So when to use it, when it's time to retreat to your shell <laughs> or step out of it, okay? If you want to be square with the outside world, find First, you've got to get square with your inside world. Definitely. If you want to be square with the outside world, first you've got to get square with the inside world. Call on Aragonite to help set a healthy, sustainable balance in your life. Meditate with this card here, Capricorn, okay? As I keep telling you to meditate, it definitely says it on the card. It says where to put it. Meditation cushion okay adjacent to you so put it in front of you on a cushion basically or or turn your phone on and take a screenshot of this stone and put it in front of you okay if you can't get your hands on it so who needs it anyone feeling out of alignment and need of major reset and what is it it says like iron um flowers forged by tiny hammers Aragonite forms in geometric bursts called star clusters. It also occurs in the echo skeleton of stony corals and in the shells of most <sighs> mullets, protecting the squishy and fishy inside. That's interesting. It's a very pretty stone here. Okay. And that is your reading, Capricorn. I love you guys. Okay. Uh, take care of yourself. If you got a message from this reading, Capricorn, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload for you guys again. And subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. And I will see you in your next reading. Take care, loves. Bye.